Did he eat it? Did he get it? Yes, he did. Go on. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Sharky Shorten back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary, an important one. Uh, we're going camping. Well, yeah, we are going camping, among other things, out at Arachula. Uh, I'm going with Ian, who is, um, he was on the show probably 20-ish episodes ago. We filmed some really awesome stuff. Uh, some of my favorite episodes ever. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get amongst a few more fish. I've got the kayak on the roof. As you guys can probably see, um, it's going to be like a three, four day trip, I'm not sure, kind of just going to play it by ear, I think. We're going to hit up Mugra, uh, Waralong Dam, uh, going to look for bass, carp, tilapia, yella, um, maybe even some, some Saratoga, I'm not sure if they stock those at Mugra, but we'll see. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get amongst a few fish. I did have some success with bass last time, but Ian is a much greater bass fisherman than I, so I'm hoping he can put us onto a few fish. Um, it's going to be super fun. I'm already an hour late because I've, I got halfway there and realized I left my alcohol at home. This is the first holiday I've had in a little while, so I plan to be quite drunk throughout 90% of it. So, anyway guys, stay tuned. This is going to be a ball of fun. Hopefully we're going to be able to pump out a few episodes for you guys. Hello! I woke up again. Really? Oh, really? Where'd you get the first one from? Um, just over there. Yeah, shit, dude. I wonder if it'd be worth yakking through here. Well, I was thinking about that, eh? Yeah. So, set up camp, put some lures on, coffee first, actually, and then fucking crush some bass. Oh, you have a photo of the one you've already caught? Oh, yeah. Let's see it. So, what did, what did it take? How was the fight? You know, give us the run through. Well, he didn't, he wasn't too, too staunch of a little guy. But yeah. He, um, took it, took it just coming past a little, like a, if I can see the opposite bank, just like the weeds hanging over the bank there. Yeah, right. Like next to that, under the grass. So you reckon he was just sitting there waiting? I'd say he was. Bit of ambush shit. The water was moving, so he probably was just sort of chilling. Very nice. Is it? A sign of things to come. We're staying here today. We're not yakking. Gonna hike the creek and shit. Cool. In that case, I am gonna start drinking. As um, doing a bit of a review here. Have you ever tried this shit? Not, not the guava. No, not the. Do you reckon it'll be good? Uh, guava's not so bad. I, I don't mind guava. It smells nice. Second for you. I wouldn't say no to that. It's not their best, but it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. You get what you pay for. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, finish setting up. Spirits are high. And they'll be higher once we start getting fish. <laughs> Some poor cunt's already lost his lure in this tree. Look at it, you can see the leader and everything. I swear that wasn't me. <laughs> was if you climb that tree, you will find a little yellow blade, I guarantee you. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> so maybe we should do like an overall lures lost competition. Well, I'm down two. Two? Yeah, because I lost one earlier. All right, well, let's, let's just count it as one because I wasn't here and I probably would have lost one then too. So we'll just go with one. So this is for the whole trip, for everything. Ian leads one nil. Well, loses one nil, because it's not a good thing, I suppose. <laughs> yes. technically, technically, it would be a loss, I think. <laughs> but if you lose 10 lures, but you catch 10 times the amount of fish, I'd take it. Yeah, well, if I caught 10 fish and lost 10 lures, I suppose I'd... If they're good fish, they'd have to be good fish. Those lures aren't fucking cheap. <laughs> But it beats the hell out of throwing away like 60 bucks worth of lures and not catching anything. Well, that's what I'm going to do today, so... I haven't lost anything yet, which is surprising. Um, I've done like five casts without losing a lure, which is a record for me. So, round of applause. you got to exhaust all the possibilities, you know? That was a fucking bite. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Gotta hit that water nice and hard, you know, let them know it's there. Already? Are you kidding me? No, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> it's deep in there though, that's the problem. 
Looks like we're one all. Oh no, down goes the rod, dude. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Just to cover my ass in case I'm fucking too buzzed to remember, but I'm pretty sure I filmed you falling down. Let's have a look at the scars. Oh! Oh, that bit's pretty That's brutal. fucking brutal, dude. You got, you got my belly too. Oh my god. What do you do, eh? Yeah, I mean, no, you we just... were left behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you beauty. Come on. That's that's worth a drink, I reckon. <laughs> Ian snagged up again. I mean, it can't be too deep there. You get it out pretty easy. There is a level of alcohol consumption where it no longer becomes like beneficial to your fishing, and we may be close to hitting that. <laughs> it's a good start, Ian. It's a real good start. <laughs> Might give that a miss now. Head up to the uh, water where it's flowing and uh, see where we can go from there. There's plenty more pools to fish. Do you reckon we'll get one, Ian? We have to. We have to? Between it. I'm kind of feeling I'm running out of those goddamn big spinners. Yeah, <laughs> not wrong. We've lost a few. What are you on? You're on two, I'm on one. Shit, dude. What in, a tree or a rock? Yeah, fucking tree. Tree? Well, I got it back over this way. It's just hanging up in a fucking tree. Oh, that side. sucks, dude. Yeah. I just had a little spangled perch come and fucking hit this just in front of me here. Like, it was this fucking big. <laughs> it was oh, tiny as shit, dude. Oh, fuck, yeah. Up there. yeah, there is, there is. It opens up a lot over there. Shit, dude, there's some bass down there. Just need to fucking get the right size lure on. I think this spinnerbait's too big for him. Did he eat it? Did he get it? Yes, he did. Go on. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. You! Come on! So I had like three casts with the spinnerbait. They followed it in. Three casts with the um, blade. They followed it in. And then this one just sitting on the surface. I got it right over him and then I just let it drop. And then he took it like five seconds after the last retrieve. So it wasn't moving at all. He just smoked it. One strand. Got one strand that's holding it. Because there's one there's one strand in there somewhere that's holding that main bit of line and stopping it. <laughs> if I can just pull him out. What the fuck is it with us and, and the first day of fishing? Why does it take us so long to get into the groove? It's fucking bizarre. Very bizarre. Yeah. Coupled with the fact that your line guide's just killed itself. Yeah, this is probably actually not helping me when I'm casting really. Guys, that's probably going to be us for this episode in the interest of uh, keeping them nice and short and sweet and not overdoing anything. We've got our first fish of the trip. The sun's going down now. I don't believe we're giving up on lure fishing just yet. I believe we're going to go, uh, hmm, excuse me. I believe we're going to go try another spot. So stay tuned for that. That's pretty cool. Getting a spangler on a lure. I've never even thought about doing that. So to have done it and have the plan worked after changing three lures to finally find the white right one to get him, the right one to get him. That's pretty sweet. And did get a bass this morning, but unfortunately, holy fuck, dude! Look at your oh my god, you got yeah, fucked so, up, dude! You also fucking got attacked by a serial killer. <laughs> and just narrowly escaped with his life. Ian had to fight off a crazy axe wielding man and saved us. I am totally fucking. I'm not injured yet, so that's nice. Um, we did, we did, we did. One, only one of us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we did say someone will probably end up in the hospital by the end of this trip. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed the episode. We're going back out. 
Uh, Ian's gonna use a rod that isn't fucked because that one seems to be Gornsky just yeah, about. Yeah, I think my reel's done for now. Oof, that's a big, that's a big oof. But that's okay because you've got how many more? Just three. Just three. <laughs> Always nice to have backups. Anyway, we're gonna head to another spot, so stay tuned for that. That episode will be out probably a day or two after this one. Enjoy the outro, guys. The song of the day is um, 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 something by Blood Runs Black. Hester Prime. Hester Prime by uh, As Blood Runs Black. Hope you guys enjoy the outro, and I'll see you in the next one.